Hello my YouTube beauties, welcome back to my channel. Today we are zoomed in and I have summer makeup on and I just wanted to sit down and do a review of the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Translucent Powder. Okay, I am dying to know if this is just as good as the Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder. I've heard really good things. I know Casey Holmes raved about this, said it was really, really good and I am just eager I mean, the second ingredient is talc. Is that a bad thing? I don't know. I hear like bad things about talc, but we'll see. <laughs> so yeah, this is gonna be like a wear test Wednesday, but it's not really. I just wanted to test out a new powder. Um, if you guys are new here, then be sure to subscribe because I do upload every Monday, Wednesday, Friday at 5 p.m. Mountain Standard Time. I upload makeup videos, lifestyle videos, vlogs. I really wanna get more into lifestyle videos because I feel like that's a nice change of scenery from just doing makeup related videos and it helps you guys to get to know me a little bit more. If you guys like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and let's go ahead and hop in. I've already done my foundation base. So I went in with the Tarte Clean Slate Timeless Smoothing Primer. Then I also mixed together the Tarte Rainforest of the Sea Foundation and the Tarte Amazonian Clay Foundation. This is a wonderful foundation combination that I have been loving and I know it works really well on my skin. I do have oily skin, so that's kind of what I'm looking for in this powder. I'm gonna go ahead and pull up how much it was, all that stuff. So I got mine on Ulta. It says it's the Photo Focus Loose Setting Powder. This was $5.99, so affordable. If this is better than Laura Mercier, Girl, I'm, I'm gonna get this. It says it's a silky, weightless setting powder that can be used to set, mattify, absorb oil, or bake. It says it's, it creates a soft focus effect and subtly blur the look of fine lines and imperfections. Translucent, cruelty-free, gluten-free, fragrance-free, and it has really good reviews. Okay, it doesn't have like a ton of reviews yet, but there are, right now it has 4.8 stars and 100% of them would recommend this to a friend. Let's see if it goes everywhere. Oh, peel here. Off the bat, it looks translucent. It does look maybe a little bit yellow, or maybe it's just translucent. No, it's definitely translucent. That is what it looks like in the cap. So I'm gonna go ahead and set down my concealer. I'm sure it's already starting to crease here. That was weird. It's like already creased, and then I applied this, and it helps the creasing. For my concealer, I did use the CoverGirl Undercover True Blend Concealer. All right, it looks really nice underneath the eyes. I'm gonna go ahead and take my big powder brush and just kind of put this all over. The test I think is really gonna be like how well it wears on my skin. It is mattifying. And I like that it's not super messy right now. Like I do have a little bit in the cap that I've been using, but it's not going everywhere because the dots are just small enough. I will also show you guys how everything else applied on top of this. All right, here's what the skin looks like. Looks pretty matte, looks setted, setted, is that a word? Set down? I mean, it looks like a powder. Like it doesn't, it just looks really roughly the same as the Laura Mercier one right now. I'm gonna go ahead and apply the CoverGirl concealer to my lids as well and just see how it sets down on the lids, but it should be fine. I don't know, what really intrigued me about this product is that it is geared for oily skin and it also is so affordable. Like this is what I've been waiting for from the drugstore. Another really good loose powder that is a little bit mattifying is the Maybelline Fit Me Loose Powder. That's a good one. I wouldn't say it's like super mattifying, but it does do the job. It, But it does, there's not like a translucent version, which I know a lot of people really like the translucent versions of powders because it doesn't change the color of your foundation. All right, it doesn't look heavy or cakey. It's not settling anywhere weird. It's not patchy. Yeah, we're just gonna have to see how it wears. Right now it is 2.03. So obviously I'm gonna wear it for the rest of the night and then I will insert some photos, but let me go ahead, finish up the rest of my makeup and I will be back to share like how everything applied on top of this. And just so you guys know, there is 0 0.70 ounces of product in here, so. I will be right back. All right guys, here is the finished makeup look. I think everything came together really well. Everything blended on top of this very nicely. I am liking how my skin looks. Like it doesn't look heavy or cakey at all. And it still looks matte without feeling super heavy, which I do like. So I'm gonna go ahead and go throughout my day. I will post some pictures at the very end. Let's get to the rest of the day. And I will see you guys a little bit later. Okay guys, so I almost took my makeup off, but I just remembered that I was gonna do a, like a outro and show you guys how my skin held up. So right now it's 11.15. 
and here's how my skin I'm drinking wine so that's why my lips are a little stained but here's how my skin held up I actually think it held up really nicely like it's been on for like nine hours and I think it did really well. It controlled my oil. My makeup looks really, really nice. I'm only a little bit oily on my forehead. Not so much on the size of my nose. On my chin is fine. I'm actually really surprised that this held up so well. So I'm definitely going to be wearing it again and seeing how it does with other products. But with this foundation combination and the powder together, really good like my skin looks very nice definitely controlled my oil so yeah i'm super impressed with this i would definitely recommend this product i'm gonna keep on using it make sure that it works with other products as well but i'm gonna go ahead and wrap up the video here thank you guys so much for watching i love you and i will see you guys in my next video bye